Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find those hard-coded IP addresses, however they got there. I don't know, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna be able to find them and replace them using a tool called PHP My Admin, which is basically just a user interface for your MySQL database. Now, I'm gonna assume that you already have PHP My Admin installed, and that you already have some idea that there are IP addresses in your WordPress database. So if that's the case, let's get right on into the tutorial here. Okay, we're gonna be working with my website, Tony Teaches Tech. And um, I know for a fact that there are IP addresses on here, but let's go ahead into PHP My Admin and prove that's the case. So here I have a couple databases, but we're gonna be using the Tony Teaches database. And what we wanna first do is come over here to the search tab and we're gonna use a regular expression. Now, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, it's basically just like a, a fancy way to find um, a variable string. And if that doesn't make sense, just know that this is searching for a digit followed by a digit followed by a digit followed by a digit, which as you know, that's the structure of an IP address. So um, we're gonna click down here as a regular expression because that's what that is. And we're gonna look in all the tables for a match. And once we're fine with that, we can hit go down here. And it looks like we have uh, quite a few matches. So this table has some matches, this table, this table, this table, and this table. Now there, how should I say this? Just because there's IP addresses in your database doesn't mean it's a bad thing. We're just gonna focus on the WP posts table because Honestly, let, well, first let's just look in the WP comments table to show I can show you what's going on here. There is a whole column in here called W or called comment author IP. So this this the purpose of this um, column is to store IP addresses. We don't want to screw around with that. We want to keep them those IP addresses in there. They belong there. But a place where potentially your IP addresses don't belong is in the WP posts table. Okay, and just from experience, you can end up with IP addresses from starting a new website or moving a website from one host to the other. That's how you end up in this situation. Just a couple examples, um, um, but we don't wanna keep them in there. We wanna have them be domain names. So in my WP post table, uh, there are two instances of IP addresses. And what we're gonna do is individually go into each one of these and see if that's something we wanna change. So let's first click on this first match here on the uh, my review of WordPress on Volter post. And this is the actual content of your post. And if we scroll down here and just do a quick scan, we'll see if we can find any IP addresses. And there's one, there's two, there's three. So there's, there's three IP addresses here. And I know because I wrote this post that these IP addresses belong here. And just, we'll take a couple seconds here. Uh, let's go find that that post to show you what it looks like and show you that those IP addresses should be there. Uh, I think it might be this one. And we'll go down do, 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 here. So this is um, like a code, not a code snippet, but just like a snippet of something that I copied and pasted in here. And these IP addresses do belong here, so we don't wanna change them. Okay, so that's an example of an IP address that we don't wanna change. Now, if we go back, uh, let me see, save and then go back to previous page. Um, uh, shoot, so we'll have to go back to SQL. We're gonna have to restart the query here, so go to your database, the search, and then type in the regular expression, which I'll have a link below. Um, select all tables and hit go. Okay, back in the WP posts table, this other match here in the how to run multiple WordPress websites on Nginx. Let's look at that. And I can see right here, right away that there's an IP address here. So um, let's let's find the slug for this. Here's the, the URL. So we'll just copy that and actually take a look at this post and scroll down here. And um, you can either do a search within your uh, if you WordPress admin dashboard, or I'd know where this IP address is. So it's in this link here, if you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner, it's gonna go to this URL. So if we click on that, this is what your users are gonna see. That's not good. Um, we want them to just go directly to the page, which in this case, it's linking to another, it should be linking to another page on my website. So back here, you actually have two options. You can either edit it directly within 
PHP my admin right here. So I can click in here, type Tony teaches that tech instead of the IP address, or you can go into your WordPress admin dashboard and just change that link in there individually. So let's do it in here just as an example, and then we'll hit go. So um, right now, if we, well, we can do two things. Let's, let's rerun the query. So we'll go back here, search, regular expression, select all, hit go. Now we only have one match in the WP post table. The, the, the match that we already said was okay. If we go back here, refresh this page, we should see now that this is resolving to a proper URL. And if we click on it, it goes to the correct page. So that's about it. It's a, it's quite a manual process, but um, it's something that it's good for your users. It's good for SEO, just to make sure that everything's linked up the way it should be. And we're using domain names instead of IP addresses where appropriate. So if you have any questions about doing this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out, point you in the right direction, uh, whatever I can do. And if you found some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.